Spyglass. I work Team Spyglass. I'm Nathan. I'm responsible for their communicating uh, to our client, and I'm also helping out with the system interface and the user interface. I'm Miles. I'm doing our software design and uh, doing some work on our software interface, as well as being our financial officer. Um, and I'm Isaac. I'm the project manager. I'm also helping out with software design, as we all are, and I'm also heading up our user interface design. All right, so our client is uh, Grant Wall. Waltz. He works for the Center of Coastal Marine Sciences here at Cal Poly. It's part of the Cal Poly Corporation. Um, Dean Wentz is the Dean of um, Math and Science, so Grant Waltz works directly under him. Um, and as part of the center, they maintain the Cal Poly's Fisheries Program. Um, that is, consists of undergrad and graduate students, and um, these, uh, these observers will go out into the field on boats and stuff and record data of fish caught on local, like, um, commercial fishing trips that the public can go on. Um, we were able to, to go on a one of these boats ourselves to go and observe how they currently are um, recording this data. Um, right now they're doing it an analog uh, paper method and then once they return uh, with the data they manually enter it into an access database here on the Cal Poly campus. So what is our system supposed to do? Um, so we're, we're taking this analog system and changing it into a digital, digital, digital system. We have three main categories of data that we're going to be uh, digitally collecting. Uh, trip data, drop data, and species data. Trip data, data pertaining to the entire trip. Uh, drop data, um, data pertaining to a certain drop. So while on the boat, the captain, the captain will be driving around, we'll say lines down from that point we collect all uh, data related to a drop, and then the species data itself. So the species, so the data related to specific fish, specifically their length and their species are the two main data points that uh, are gonna be collected. Um, this data is then, will be sent to a Cal Poly hosted database, and will be running on a Windows device. <clears throat> um, so who are our stakeholders? So our, uh, our application will directly benefit Cal Poly observers here on campus. They're the ones that spend the time both entering the information while recording it on a boat and transferring the information to the database. So it's going to save um, their observers a lot of time uh, transferring the information and will also result in fewer errors in, during that transfer, as well as hopefully making a fluid um, uh, collection of the data there in the boat itself. Um, the data that they collect is used by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, and they use this data to set uh, fish catch levels in the ocean to prevent um, overfishing and um, you know, a healthy marine environment. Um, these catch levels will then indirectly affect both recreational anglers and commercial fishing boat companies who um, recreational anglers will set the amount of fish they can catch, and then commercial um, the fishing boat companies provide the services of taking anglers out, and that'll also affect them as well. So a uh, larger amount of fish that are able to be caught versus a low number of fish will affect them. Um, so our missions and objectives for our project. Uh, we want to develop uh, good teamwork and communication. We want to expand our tech skills in new areas, specifically in C Sharp, the Universal's Windows platform, which we'll be using to develop our project, and SQL and interfacing with the database. And then in addition to that, we want to practice great development skills and tools, for example, uh, Git software management and the agile sprint process. <clears throat> so some of our, our goals and uh, objectives for our uh, software is we wanted to make sure that our end result had a functional and it's aesthetically pleasing UI. We also wanted to be, um, make it so that it was easy to use, so even on like on rough conditions on a boat, you can easily touch the buttons and make sure every time you put to touch a button, you're touching the one you intend to touch. As well, we want to make it expandable and maintainable because obviously after next quarter, we're not gonna be working on it anymore. And so we wanna make sure that whoever might be like maintaining it uh, doesn't have to go to a ton of trouble to like figure out what our weird code actually is doing. And finally, we want it to be robust. We don't want it, we want it to work when it's supposed to work. That's obviously very important. And so how we translated these goals into a our outcome is making this Windows uh, application that's gonna collect the data for the fisheries program. And then all that data is going to be uploaded in real time while it's on the boat. 
uh, to the Microsoft Access database that's hosted here on campus. And then if it's not, if, if we lose connection while we're on the water, which can happen, um, then it's gonna record the data locally. And as soon as it regains connection, uh, the plan is for it to uh, send all the data that it's cached. And then finally, we're uh, making sure that it's uh, able to be used quickly and efficiently and still be able to be accurate even if there's a high volume of fish coming through. So here's kind of our, our planning uh, going forward. So right now we're working on the, our, our alpha demo, um, which we'll, you'll see more of in a bit, but we wanna extend it. Um, and so our plan is uh, towards the beginning of January, going into February, we wanna have our UI completely, complete. Um, and then uh, towards the beginning of February, we'll wanna be at a stage where we consider it feature complete. That's everything is uh, built in. Uh, not necessarily working in the condition that we want it to be, but every feature that we planned on is there. Um, and then uh, and then February through March is just going to be testing and revision, so making sure everything actually does work, and if anything needs to be changed, we'll change it. And at some point in there, our plan is to take our software out on an actual boat and use it in the field to make sure that our plan of making it so that it works well in the field is actually true. So we have four main customer requirements that we were given, uh, one being that it's a Windows-based system, another being that a, a data is uploaded in real time uh, to a Microsoft Access database, and finally, to be able to input data in rough weather conditions. And these lead us into our engineering requirements, uh, some of these being that the data is stored locally until the end of the trip, and if the data has all been uh, sent off to the database, and data must be editable after initial entry, and so on. And these engineering requirements help let us into our designing process. Uh, so initially for the UI, we have the trip data screen, which will then go into the drop slash species data. And we're thinking about putting those on the same screen. However, as you'll see in our decision matrix, that wasn't the best course of action. The other thing that we had to consider was what kind of dev tools we wanted to use to make our Windows application. And so there's kind of three main ones we were looking at, the universal Windows platform, UWP. There's WPF. I don't remember exactly what it stands for now. Um, and then there's Win32. Um, these WPF and Win32 are kind of older standards at this point. Um, they're, I mean, they're still very functional, but um, UWP is kind of the, the fresh new way to do things. And so we've decided to go with that for a couple more reasons that you'll see in our decision matrix. So for the drop-in species data screens, uh, we decided that it was best to keep them separate in order to reduce user error when inputting data because having so much data to enter on one screen could easily make it, someone could easily like, accidentally enter data somewhere else. And then for our tool, we wanted, the, one of the things that we were looking at was uh, touch readiness, which Universal Windows Platform is almost designed around. And so that, that was giving it big points, as well as the fact that we're familiar with C Sharp because it's basically just Java. Um, so, uh, we ended up uh, going with Universal Windows Platform. Did you already decide what, like, using like a Surface Pro or something? Like, especially for the bad weather you mentioned, have you thought about that you're using? Yeah, so currently we're, uh, it's gonna be working on a Surface Go, um, which is, basically a Windows tablet, um, but it's designed so it can like get wet and things like that. Eventually though, the plan is for it to be running on a, like a ruggedized laptop, um, but they don't have that hardware yet. The Surface Go also has an um, internet, um, like a cellular chip for yeah. internet connection. So you SSH onto the host that's supposed to the database on campus and then send the data over, or are you uploading it to the cloud and then it gets downloaded on the, the, the plan is to just connect directly to the uh, database. database, yeah. That's something we still need to work on. We haven't done any testing on that yet, so. Do you have any questions, Sean? No. Oh, okay. <laughs>